Mirror Gorge is an amazing place. The history, um, how it's transformed over the last 75 years from an industrialized area to today that's one of the most beautiful park systems in the country. It's just amazing how Mother Nature can reclaim itself and um, bring us back to nature. We get people from everywhere here and they definitely enjoy to be in this town because it's like get away. That's the way to take it. Get away from a big city and come to this beautiful place to do all these outdoor activities. Everybody loved it, you know, and, and I agree because it's like people come here to enjoy and relax, to enjoy the outdoors. It's a beautiful place to be. Every town has their very unique and well established and well organized festivals. Uh, the biggest festival, of course, is Bridge Day, and that's the day that, that literally hundreds of thousands of people come from all over the world to, to look at the, at the bridge, which is, which is a real wonder. I always talk about the bridge. You just, you just have to. It's the elephant in the room, and, and it is spectacular, and people have been coming to see the bridge since before it was completed. So uh, I would definitely start there. Then, then branch out and explore, do whatever you want to do. If you want to go horseback riding, you can do that. If you want to go mountain bike riding, you can do that. If you want to go uh, fishing, wonderful fishing. So, I mean, just literally whatever kind of tickles your fancy, you can do. If you want to just go sit on a cabin front porch and rock in a rocking chair, you can find plenty of those opportunities. So, uh, that, that's really the, the uniqueness of West Virginia is we have something to fit kind of every palate. You know, there's so many options in the New River Gorge, um, good ways to have fun. Some like to climb, some like to hike. The biking trails are phenomenal, and um, our claim to fame, really what's brought it all together is the whitewater rafting. It's some of the best in the entire world, and um, you can come see the New River four or five different times and see a completely different environment each time with the change of water levels throughout the seasons. The, the smallmouth fishing is world renowned um, and it's just a gorgeous place to come and get away. What has happened in Fayetteville, um, is, you know, it's always been a, a rafting destination and then over the years, especially more recently, it's become a rock climber destination. You know, it's a top five rock climber destination on the East Coast, you know, it's, so that is really starting to take over. And now we can really claim that Fayetteville has become a dining destination. Um, you know, we have multiple, we have five, six great restaurants in town, all of them unique, all of them doing their own thing. And, you know, so it's kind of become, you know, a, a, a dining destination. So people, they raft, they go mountain biking, they go climbing and then they come here to eat. It's pretty amazing. There's little little like home diners and stuff around the outlying areas like in Oak Hill and stuff as well. I mean, so we've got these amazing little venues for food and stuff in this area. So it's really nice for people to get out. They're locally owned. Um, really like nine times out of 10, you're gonna see the actual owner and they're either cooking the food themselves, slinging the food, you know, maybe even waiting on the table. So it's, it's pretty, Pretty local, pretty pretty amazing to have these restaurants available in our town. It's really changed enormously over the years, and and, and that's a great thing. Uh, it wasn't very many years ago that Fayette County was fairly isolated, and so we didn't have a lot of dining. Uh, uh, there, there were two or three choices. Now we've got now we've got a lot of really specialty shops, not just here, but throughout West Virginia. We've got a wealth of artisans. We've got everything from quaint little antique shops to uh, the big box stores. So virtually you can you can find pretty much whatever you want. If you want to go you want to go to a big box store, you can find that. But if you want to go just browsing around these little towns and look for their antique shops, you can find that as well. Bridge Brew Works, that's our local brewery. Uh, those guys are right down the road. They have fantastic brews. We always make sure we have at least one of their beers on tap. We usually have their Long Point Lager, which is their like flagship beer, um, and then whatever seasonal draft that they have going. It's really exciting what's happened in the New River Gorge. A lot of the rafting companies have become more like a resort atmosphere where you can come and spend a week and do different activities every day and enjoy pools or lakes or zip lines, and there's so many options. I see a lot of people from D.C., Baltimore, Charlotte, Charlottesville, some of the larger cities, and um, you know they come here. You know, they, I think they might know a little bit, and when they get here, they're pretty surprised. Um, they're always surprised at 
the quality of food they can get at all the restaurants, they're surprised at hospitality, and you know, and being in West Virginia, when you're starting to get kind of south, you get that touch of southern hospitality, you know, the, the southern accent, you know, and it, you know, and to me, you know, to some people that that might be kind of run of the mill, but growing up in the northeast, those are things that are, you know, that are very attractive about the area. It's just amazing. We have a lot to see, so I would always advise people to branch out and not get locked into one activity or one location. Um, I, I know there's a lot of places that really encompass the do it all here, see it all here, but there's so many different things to see in Fayette County and there's so many different businesses that offer something different. So come into Fayette County and actually utilize the small businesses and try to see something from a small business you know, perspective. It's always appreciated on a local level. A lot of families are looking to southern West Virginia instead of going to the beach and doing the same old, same old kind of vacation. You can come and play for five, seven days and see something different each day.